Hi! If you're new to my channel, I am Lori, and you are watching Lori's Book Trials. I will be back in a minute. This video is going to be on what I am currently re reading, the rest of my wrap-up for November, and what's just going on in my life. So I'll be back. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back. Sorry I'm all, that I'm not all like in, you know, clothes clothes, that I'm in pajamas, but I wanted to be comfortable while I was doing this. So, I'm gonna talk about the rest of the books that I didn't read, I mean that I read, I mean, <laughs> that I didn't read, <laughs> that I read in November. I'm not gonna tell you the numbers and everything like that. I think what I'm gonna do at the end of the year I mean, before the end of the year, I think I'm going to do a video and show you, or the beginning of the year. I don't know what I'm doing yet. But either the end of this year, beginning of next year, I'm going to do like a video and I'm just going to go through my thing on Goodreads, where all my books are, and tell you what was what for each book. I don't, I'm not going to like sh bring out all the books, but I'm just going to read like what they are on off of here and tell you what my ratings were so that's what I'm planning on doing so you'll know what so yeah so you'll know more about it then I guess maybe the first one was my least favorite book this was the only book I didn't give a four a five or a favorite of the year so yeah and that was fable this one was really disappointment I was really hoping to love it. At first, when I got done reading, I was like, I'm going to give it a four star. And then I was like, no. It is not a four star. All these other books were four and five stars. And like I said, a six. But this one was definitely didn't deserve that. It was more like between a three, three and a half. But I gave it a three on Goodreads. Definitely a disappointment. It just was so, so slow. It took forever to get into it. Yeah, it took me a while to like the characters, so yeah, but I liked it enough that I will read the next one, and I actually got an e-arc of the next one, so yeah, so I'll definitely continue to see how everything ends if it's only a duology, but yeah, three stars. This one, um, her dad left her on this island after um, her parent, um, I mean not parent, after her mom was killed, and... And she wants to get off the island and wants to go and work for her dad. And this is what happens when she gets off the, how she gets off the island and, you know. And if she gets to work with her dad or not. And, yeah. It ended in a cliffhanger. So, yeah. Who's that? The ending was really good, but it took a while to get to the ending. Me and Drew both buddy read this together and we both gave it like about the same thing like three three and a half so yeah then I read Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco Skokli? I forget how you say it this was so good so it's about twin sisters and the one sister gets killed and then she, the other sister she um makes a deal with this the, one of the prince of hell, or whatever you want to say, to try and find out who killed her sister and why. And, yeah, it was really good. Five stars. No, four stars. I give this one four stars, I believe. Yeah, this one was four stars. But it was really good. I think the reason why I didn't give it five is it was a little slow at times, and I wasn't sure how I felt about the ending. But it was good. I really liked... Um, the main girl, uh, Emily, and I really liked um, Wrath, so yeah, and I liked um, just the world building in general in the book, so I definitely, definitely can't wait for the next one of that one. Then I read The Shadows Between Us by Tracy Levenseller. This is a standalone, which is awesome, because you don't get very many fantasies that are standalone. This one, excuse me. This one, um, the, I always forget names, but, um, Alex, Alessa, Alessa Drander, Alessa Nandy, I don't know how you say it, but anyways, 
she wants to kill the, the, um, what's his name? What is he called? The Shadow King. And become the, you know, the power, the, the queen, or, you know, be the ruler. And it's their story. Does she go through with wanting to kill him? Do they fall in love? You know. So, yeah. Five stars. I loved everything. I loved her, even though she was, uh, how was it called? Anti-heroine. I still freaking loved her. The next three are the other th that I read for um, Believe It Thought. Like, everything else is five stars besides the last one. Which will be six stars. <laughs> so next one I read was uh, Rick Reardon, The Kane Chronicles. Number one is called The Red Pyramid. This one, like I said, five stars is about Carter and Sadie. Um, Carter is with his dad, and Sadie is um, living with the grandparents after the mother was killed. And they only get to see each other, I think once a year or twice a year can't remember i think it's once a year for for the day and when he when they go and pick her up the dad's all acting weird and everything like that and then they go to a museum and something happens to the dad and they're fighting different evils and it's about gods and all that kind of stuff so it's really good I like both Kate Carter and Sadie. They just are so funny. I just love the banter between them. I'm trying to remember if I gave the wish this one five. I might have gave this one four. Let me see if I can um, get my um, Goodreads up because I cannot remember. Maybe I did give this one four. Let me see. Let me tell you guys. No, I gave it five. Okay, I was right. I just wasn't positive. But this is the Land of Stories, the Wishing Spell. I only say well for some reason by Chris Coffer. And yeah, it's about these two kids. I always forget their names. What are their names? Alex and Connor. And they get a book from their grandma of fairy tales and they go into fairy world like into the fairy land you know like into the book and they meet different characters like goldilocks snow white cinderella all that kind of stuff and it's them trying to get out to go home and a whole bunch of other stuff going on it was really good really really good so you guys and then the last of my five stars was Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky by Kwam Mabella? Mabilia? Mabella? I don't know. I'm totally butchering his name, my last name. But this was so good. It was almost six stars. I kind of feel like it should be a favorite of the year. So it might be changed to a six star. You'll see in my wrap up. Because I'm going to show you all of my. Um, books that were six stars and then I'm going to tell you what my absolute favorite like I'm not going to do any particular order really until I get probably to like the top five maybe seven we'll see just depends but yeah but I'm going to show you all of the six stars even if they're not like in my top five ten whatever I decide to do so yeah so you'll find out then but this was good he um Tristan accidentally punches a hole in the sky, universe, whatever. And he unleashes these really bad creatures and stuff into the other, to the, um, this world. And there's gods involved, of course. And, oh, it's so good. I'm totally butchering what it's all about. But it's so good, you guys. Like, I really love Tristan. I felt so bad for him because his best friend died in a bus they were in a bus and it crashed the school bus and yeah and he left him this book and it's full of stories and someone steals the book and that's when he gets mad punches the tree and things happen 
And it was so good. Like, he goes through so much adventure in this book. You meet this one character that's so freaking funny. I'm not going to tell you who this, like, you know, what type of creep person it is. Like, if it's a person or a creature or whatnot, I'm not going to tell you. But if you read the book, you know who I'm talking about. But it was so good, you guys. It was, like, action-packed. I liked it from the very beginning to the very end. I really, like, felt really strongly for Christian. I thought he was just so, like, heartbreaking, though. Like, everything that he went through. But he was so, like, strong still. And, yeah, I just really, really, really felt for him. And really, really was pulling for him. And I definitely want to get the next one that's out. Then we have definitely a six star. And that is, should it be no surprise, A Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahara. I know I totally butchered her name. I always do. But I can't tell you what this one ha what what this one's about because it would spoil it. <laughs> but the we foul Ellis or I uh, El Elias. I always call him Elias, but I'm not sure. We we have um, Laia and Helena. And in the first one, Laia um, is trying to find her brother that was taken. And she pretends like she's a slave. And she goes to this, where the lady rules, the, I forget what she's called, what her name is. But anyway, she... Um, She's very, very brutal and stuff, but she's supposed to, Laia is supposed to pretend like she's a, um, a slave and then spy and report back to the resistance and they're supposed to help her. And then we got Helena and Elias who, they're part of the empire, emperor, empire, whatever you want to say, where the school is, where it's bad. And Elias, at the beginning of the book, it's not a spoiler, he wants to, um, Take off, escape, leave. And if you're caught, you die. You don't get another chance. You will be murdered. And something happens and he stays. And then him and Helena, who's his best friend, um, they, them two, Marcus, and I always forget what Marcus's brother's name is. Maybe Zach, I can't remember. But anyways, all four of them are fighting to be the main person. And whoever wins, whoever comes in second place, is it like the enforcer, you know, the one that has to make sure that they are that they survive, that they got to do what the person tells them. And yeah. But it's very, it's like, a, so it's like a game in the first one, in a certain sense. It's just really powerful. And this is the third book. And oh my gosh, so much went down in this book. Like, I could not believe what went down. Like, oh my gosh, and you learned so much. And there was something that I thought that I knew. And I was totally wrong. There was a few things that mm -hmm, I thought I knew and I was wrong about. Like, really, you guys. It was just so good. And hopefully tomorrow or Saturday I will get the last one, which I'm so excited about. Yeah, but this was definitely, definitely, definitely my favorite book of November. It was so good. Like, from the beginning to the end, I just, like, was like, please, please let something good happen for Elias. But, you know, if you know books... You know stuff is going to happen. There's not going to be no good stuff going on during a war. And there's a war with the gins. That's all I'm going to say. So, yeah. So, those are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other books I read. I read 15 books all together. So, and almost all of them were five or six stars. There was a couple of four and then the one that was a 3.5 or a three, whatever. Now I am currently in the middle of some books. I'm in. I'm reading *The Dragon Republic* by R. F. Kwan, which is the second book in the Poppy War trilogy, and I'm loving it so far. I am on chapter eleven, page one seventy-five. That's what I'm going to tell you because I'm doing reading vlogs. So.
I'm also reading. I started it because um, I don't know when um, Drew's going to get to it, but um, I wanted, I'm going to be, as soon as I get a Sky Beyond the Storm, I'm going to be going straight to that one. So I wanted to get ahead of starting this for whenever um, Drew, buddy, reads it with me. That you know, I'll have a good chunk in case he's reading it while I'm reading the other book. <laughs> so I'm trying to read some in here. So I'm on page 78. And this is in the Mistborn trilogy. The first one is The Final Empire. And it's basically what would happen if, like, um... Baltimore won, basically. And the other one I'm currently in the middle of is um, The Lives of Saints by Lee Bardo. So far, it's interesting. It's short stories about different saints. And, yeah, I read three short stories so far. I don't even know if it tells you the page in here. Yeah, on my page 15, it's just different short stories, and some of the stories... I don't know if all of them or just some of them were talked about in, um, why did my mind go blank? It's my, one of my favorite se series, series, Shadow and Bones. Yeah. Uh, um, I always forget how you say Aline. I forget how you say her name, but the main girl in that one, like she hears short, she hears some stories about certain saints and stuff like that. And that's what these basically are is just the stories that you hear about in Shadow and Bones. So, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I think that's it. So, I'll tell you all the books that I read. So, I read Green Glass House by Kate Milford, and I gave five stars. I read The Girl and the Ghost by Hannah L. Calf, something like that. I gave five stars. I read Scritch Scratch. Gave it five stars. I read Exile. Gave it five stars by Shannon Messenger. It's the second book in the um, Keeper of the Lost City. I read uh, Maya and the Rise in Dark by Renee, Rena Barron. Gave it four stars. Hide and Seeker, which is probably my third favorite book of the, of the month. Of November. I gave that one five stars. That was by Danica Herman. I read Arua Shaw and the End of Time by Rashi Shashni. I know I totally butchered that. Get four stars. I, got, I read Paloma, Paloma, how is their name? Sagiag, Santiago and the River of Tears by Taller K. Maha. Maja? I'm not sure. And then the ones that I mentioned already. So yeah, that was it. But oh, it was so fun. So, so fun. But yeah, um, so updates. So Rob's doing much better. So that's good. He'll probably still be out until either sometime in January or the beginning of February he'll go back. He's got to go... I think he said sometime in January he has to go back, go to the doctor. I think he's got to get a stress test or something. And then if he passes it, he can go back. So prayers, prayers. Um, we're going to take Hannah. Well, Rob's going to take Hannah into the doctor on Saturday because everything, every since like she's been, she got sick in August and everything that went down with her, it's like, yeah, she's just like having a lot of, um, problems like she's always like rocking back and forth like if you see her in videos sometimes in my videos she's always like going back and forth like this and going like this with her hands and stuff and she's shaking really bad like when she tries to eat anything it's like this like her whole hands and everything so we think it has to do with her medicine because if you guys watch some of my older videos with her in it, you would see that she's totally different than what she used to be. So, we're thinking it's the medicine. So, just keep her in your prayers, please. Hopefully, if it is the medicine, they can get her off of it and help her. So, yeah. So, 
So just please give her, give her prayers. And if you, you know, or if you don't pray, just, you know, do whatever you do for when you, you know, however you do things like that, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't pray, however you like, you know, I don't know how you would say it, but your traditions or whatever you would say. Um, and then, um, I'm going to do, a a read a thought. I mean, you know, like one of those, instead of doing a 24 hour, I'm going to do, I'm going to start tomorrow, like around either three or four and go until Sunday at 1159 at night. So if anyone, if anybody wants to participate, awesome. You guys don't have to, of course, but yeah, but yeah, that is it. I hope you guys liked this video. I know it was kind of long, over 20 minutes, but just wanted to do this and, and give you an update on what's going on in my life and what I'm currently reading. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys all have a great night, day. I don't know when this is going up, so whenever you watch it, I hope you have a great day. And I hope you guys all have a great weekend because I'm sure this will go up at least sometime tomorrow. So, yeah. And that is it. Let me know what your least favorite and favorite book of November was. What is one book that you're reading this month that you're super excited for? You guys already know mine is The Sky Beyond the Storm, the last one in the in Burn the Ashes Quartet. And yeah. Let me know what you guys are doing, if anything. I know that this year Christmas is going to be different if you celebrate Hanukkah, if you celebrate, if you don't celebrate anything, it's still going to be different. So just, yeah. Hope you guys just stay safe. Remember to be social distancing and wear a mask if you go out anywhere. And just take care of you guys itself. And remember... If you're sick, don't go anywhere. Okay? Just stay healthy. Because it's getting rough out there. I love you guys all so much. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. And you guys know the drill. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. And please hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video of mine is up for your viewing pleasure. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys then. Hurry out. Happy reading.